found a few tidbits of info here you might be interested in. A lot of the information I use in my videos about Bitcoin, I'm getting from a wide selection of other channels. I think I have over 70 over here on the left now. I found this video here. You'll see the full screen version of it in the video. Um, I just want to say real quick what they're doing. What they're talking about is people panic selling. And uh, I've made a couple videos saying the worst thing you can do at this point in time is to panic sell. So they're talking about billionaires and billionaire entities gobbling up Bitcoin over the counter market. And it doesn't affect the uh, doesn't affect this price, doesn't affect this chart when they buy over the counter. And what they're saying, this guy uh, up here in the red, I'm about to play this clip for you, but he's talking about Google and, and then another guy comes in talking about Walmart. He's talking about Google's already bought three to four billion dollars worth of Bitcoin recently. And they're talking about Walmart being in. And I watched another video recently of this guy in the red glasses. Uh, he's talking about Apple is already buying as well. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. But these guys have a lot of connections in this crypto world. So let's play that clip right now. Yeah, I will dedicate that video to anyone who sold any tokens this week in a panic. When the oh, market yeah. went up and down, oh, yeah. Because if you did, did, you sold the tokens to these guys. Yeah. You sold tokens Google. to these guys. Yeah. You sold them to Google. You sold yeah. them to Google. Like seriously, Google is right now accumulating between three and four billion dollars. I've been told this by the same source that told me that that Cardano would be on Coinbase way before I, I should have known. So I'm really confident in that. <laughs> and isn't Walmart also supposedly buying Bitcoin? Yeah. There's a big rumor that Walmart's gonna maybe may release that they bought Bitcoin. That's sort of institutional support is important here because. So if you watch a lot of different channels, you can really learn a lot of, a lot of little tidbits that a lot of other people might just not ever hear ever until these companies actually announce. Now I looked it up. I know by rule these companies have to make it public what they bought. If they bought Bitcoin, they have to make it public. I'm not sure exactly when. Google's quarter one report is uh, April. 27th i believe and apples is i believe april 28th those change those dates might not be accurate they could change but it should be around that ballpark and walmart's q1 report is i think like uh, may 19th or something so over a month but uh those dates might not be exactly right but i don't know um if they started buying after april 1st they might not have to report till quarter two, which could be three to four months from now. So it could be the summertime, right? So who knows for sure when they actually have to report that kind of stuff. But I wanted to show this on CryptoQuant. This is this is a little chart here showing the Bitcoin moving out of exchanges and into people's cold storage wallets. So this black line the bottom here going up is the price of bitcoin and then these these bars coming off this line here on the top of this line are bitcoin being moved from cold storage or uh, external wallets onto the exchanges and that generally what happens so they can sell see these big ones here with the sharp decrease in price this one and this one particularly these two See how the price goes down? That's people moving them on to sell. But what, what I want to show right here is look at this. <laughs> look at this one down here. April 5th, 2021. 79.586 thousand Bitcoin moved off of exchanges and into people's wallets. So that means that means people are moving them off the exchanges where they would normally sell them. So a big a big thing that happens with Bitcoin is people move, in, they move them to exchanges so they can sell. And when they take them off the exchanges, that's because they're going to hold on to them, right? So uh, look at look how big that is compared to anything else. There's a huge one here, January 1st, one back November 1st. And uh, there was a big one here, March 22nd. 
But look at this thing here on April 5th. That just dwarfs. That's twice the size. <laughs> the biggest one on this chart was 36,000. This is this is literally over two times bigger. It's almost 80,000 Bitcoin. So I thought this was kind of interesting. That that right there would definitely support a Google, a Walmart, and an Apple. Someone like that buying. That's just massive. Let's see how much how many dollars that would be. Times fifty nine thousand. Price just went up. Six forty equals. That folks is five. 4.7 billion. <laughs> 4.74 billion dollars of Bitcoin moved off of exchanges and into people's storage. That's that's an, an amazing amount. That's one day. One day. So the following two days were smaller. And then actually on April 8th and 9th, people more moved on to the exchanges than off. So uh, this is on CryptoQuant if you want to. It's free if you want to go over there. CryptoQuant, sign up. You can get these kind of charts. This is the Bitcoin all exchanges net flow chart. But uh, that's abnormal. That is definitely abnormal. 79,000 Bitcoin in one day moving off. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. This is not a rule, but I have noticed that when these big spikes of coins, Bitcoin's moving off the exchanges, it's generally followed by a nice spike in price. See here, January 1st, 36,000 Bitcoin moved off. And uh, six days later, Bitcoin went up in price by $11,000. Look at it. And then uh, see these ones on top are followed by a dump in the price. That's not a rule, but it's a vague general observation. Here's a pretty big one here. Price moved up steadily. It's not a rule, but uh, here's a couple of big ones here. Price clearly moved up. But uh, anyways, not much of a price move so far. But in that amount, that would definitely suggest that a monster, a monster entity of some sort it just is accumulating. So uh, I'd be willing to believe this dude knows some people. He might have contacts with the exchange folks. But uh, anyways, this little show goes on. And here's a nice little, uh, nice little clip about the SEC. You might hear stuff about Bitcoin maybe being banned and stuff. And that's just, that's all old news. So it's just all Stuff people used to try to do to scare people. And here's what the SEC commissioner thinks about banning Bitcoin in the United States, or even around the world for that matter. So, um, you know, we talk, you pulled up that SEC commissioner's tweet before. You know, one of the things we were always worried about when uh, things got soft was, you know, things will be banned. China's banning stuff, India's banning stuff. You know, we're still worried about US SEC sort of stuff. Like the the fact that institutions are dipping so hard into Bitcoin at this point in time means that you know the U.S. government can't take the actions that were threatened in the past because like they're hurting their own corporations at that point in time. So that's where we see some of this strength coming from. Is that there's less fear, you know, um, and that's why you see these dips being bought and why preaching buying the dip for you know pretty much the entire this show time this show has been running has been a really good trading strategy. So there you have it. One thing, I don't know if you've ever used the YouTube filters. Like I just type in Bitcoin and you can go down to an hourly filter, a daily filter, a weekly filter. Filter. I like the today filter. And you can go and see a lot of the relevant news. If you want to stay on top of this, it's real easy. All this good stuff in here. I don't know. Lots of people might not know about that little filter. You can go to the hour. This is late at night, so the hour is going to be kind of lame. But but during prime time, during the day, the hourly filter, you can keep you know super up to date info coming at you. If one of those companies comes out and and says publicly that they've been buying, which they probably won't, because all these all these big entities would like to keep it on the down low 
for as long as possible because if the public finds out they're buying then the spike will price way up high so they want to keep it down so they can buy as low as possible and that's what's been going on basically for about a month okay so uh i'd be willing to believe that guy's right i'm not saying he is but uh that's definitely abnormal right there that's <laughs> This is a, this chart represents an entire year, and that just dwarfs anything. I sure hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to do the subscribe and the and the like, daily that you've heard fifty million times, over and over. <laughs> Not from me, but YouTube. <laughs>